The Saudis, as we both know, have an extraordinary amount of money to invest, but there are, at this event, a great many investors. So money and money managers. Not everybody can get everything. How competitive is it, and what's your key to getting the Saudis to work with you? Well, listen, I think the Saudis have a very long-term perspective in how they're trying to invest their capital. Uh, I think the Saudis are also very focused on having a two-way street with investment professionals and investors, i.e., uh, can they bring investors to the region and can they make quality investments around the world? I think, generally, you have to separate yourself by doing something particularly well and being able to evidence that you've done it over the past 20 years. Uh, we do believe uh, the world of credit certainly the world of private equity, uh, and now the world of real estate. We, we've been operating in these asset classes over the past 20 years. I, I do think the illiquid, self-originated asset classes, certainly of direct lending, of real estate lending, of energy infrastructure, of private equity, uh, we might be able to separate ourselves somewhat, both from track record and from uh, the length of time we've been in these asset classes. Does that message resonate here and in the Gulf region in general? I think there's no doubt uh, that we're seeing two pretty important factors uh, to us uh, in the alternative asset industry. And, and the two factors really are, one, uh, we are seeing a rotation of capital from depositories to non-deposit, to large institutional investors like sovereigns. Uh, we're also seeing, which to us is sort of how we built Aries Management, we're pursuing, we're going after the asset classes. Large banks are leaving whether they want to or whether they're being forced to, but going after those asset classes in a very substantial way. Would you say, and this may sound like a funny question to some because we see the stock market up more than 15% this year, and we know the ETF story. Investors in public markets have been doing great, but the reality is the real money investors, to your point, are putting more and more into private markets. Is this the age of illiquidity? Well, I don't know if I'd quite describe it as the age of illiquidity, but I think people have realized that there are huge opportunities in illiquid markets. Uh, listen, when interest rates are very, very low for extended periods of time, asset values, lo and behold, are rather high. So people look for self-originated, illiquid assets that, generally speaking, can, uh, shall we say, survive uh, adjustments in the marketplace. And uh, for whatever it's worth, when you're in the middle market lending business, when you're in the private ABS business, when you're in the energy infrastructure business, when you're in the rescue lending business to the energy industry, these are all rather interesting places to be. Yes, illiquid. On the other hand, uh, meaningful performers in all types of markets.